So this week in Red Dawn Online there are a few little changes and items that you can unlock by playing this week which we're going to go over and also I'm going to go over all the bonuses and discounts that are still active for this week as well and are for the remaining month of February. But first I just want to say that I have a video up on the analysis of the Take-Two investor call which happened there yesterday. My perspective was coming from a Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online perspective so I found it very interesting and if you think you'll find it interesting too I'll leave a link here and as well at the end of the video. Back to the update. So between February 8th and February 14th you can craft an item at your campsite and to receive the pink camp flag. Also, if you track down, find and hunt any legendary animal, you will receive the red version of the Cornwall hat. If you protect the town of Valentine from attackers and the call to arms this week and reach wave 3, you will receive a red Cooperosa poncho. Also, playing anytime this week, you will receive 5 fine brandies and 10 chocolate bars, where Rockstar said you can spoil your beloved wit. Which would be cool if you could share supplies like that, but you can't actually share these supplies, I'm guessing. You can just take them yourself. This week's featured series is the new Hanover series and if you win any of these series you will receive an offer of 5 gold bars off the butcher table. Valentine's Day is falling on February 14th so for that day you will be able to get 50% off all corsets, top hats, ties, dresses and all barber services. The red morning tailcoat is also still available for you to unlock. To do this you just have to replay the land of opportunity mission called love and honor anytime this month and you will earn the morning tailcoat and as always it can take up to 72 hours to receive your free item. You won't receive a notification or anything just go to your camp or your wardrobe and check under coats and it should be there. This month is a bit of a trader month so you will get 50% on all pelt sales either to the butcher or to Gus Macmillan. Pelts also turned into materials at Crips will also have an increased value while all trader sales completed throughout the month of February will pay double RDR cash. This month those players that can play the uh, trade route free roam events for the trader will also get double character and roll XP for that and all traders who play Red Dead Online this month will also receive 10 predator bait while naturalists will receive 10 blending tonics. This month also has double cash on all free roam event missions that you'll find across the frontier. These are missions such as Bonnie McFarlane, Jake, Sadie Adler and all those little orange dots you see scattered across the map. There is double cash and XP on all call to arms as well. It's also worth noting that upkeep, setup and relocation fees for your camp are waived this entire month which can make fast traveling around the map a lot cheaper and more efficient for you. The Natural Roll can also be purchased with 5 gold bars off, meaning it is now 20 gold bars for this month. And there is also 70% off all legendary animal pheromones. And if you head over to Gus, you can get 40% off the ram horn trinket. The Farmant Rifle is also getting a 75% off at any gunsmiths across the frontier, while the Kakano Rifle is also getting 40% off as well. All trader uh, roll outfits are also now 40% off for this entire month and this can be useful if you want to mix and match the tops and bottoms of these outfits which if you don't know how I will leave a link here uh, in the video. There is also 40% off all Missouri Fox Trotter breeds as well for this month. Also clothing wise there is 50% off brass spectacles which you can pick up at Madame Lazar. There is 60% off the Flixton hat as well. You'll also get 40% off the Glen Wood coat and there is 40% off all boots this month in the Taylors and Red Dead Online. The investor call from Take 2 was yesterday and I have already made a video on that so I will link here if you'd like to see that. It it was definitely interesting and there was a lot of things that I wanted to hear in that investor call. So if you're curious on that, definitely click the link here. Massive thanks to everyone who does support this channel. I will be uploading a lot more now going forward. So see you again.